Today I will be working with gin since we've worked with vodka on the first one. In this particular case I'll be using Smalls gin. It's a very good gin, very smooth, uh, smooth's always great. Uh, I'm a big ginger fan and this will be my favorite drink of all time. So I muddled a bit of uh, ginger, just two thin slices. Ginger is very powerful so um, whenever you make a drink, less is more always. Um, so here, I'm gonna grab a lime and a lemon. I'm gonna cut them open. You can squeeze them with your hand into the shaker. I'm gonna use this amazing tool to squeeze uh, the lime. That's enough, just a few drops in. Same thing with the lemon. Cut it open. Again. Squeeze it in there, you can squeeze your hip with your hands, that's fine. This is just easier for me. Boom. Done. Just a few drops. Um, I'm sure most of you have in your kitchen a salt shaker. Uh, just throw a bit of a salt, like a pinch of salt in your hand and throw it in the shaker. Salt will enhance um, the flavors of your drink, but they will also help to reduce the acidity of the lemon and the lime. It helps to cut a bit of that acidity. Throw like four or five blueberries, fresh blueberries in that shaker, which will represent about of, uh, an ounce of uh, blueberries. You can give it a little bit of a model. One, two, three, that's, that's my model. One, two, three for modeling. More than that, you're just you're just having fun with it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna grab some ice. So as you can see, it's not that complicated to make a great cocktail. Uh, let's not forget the most important part, the gin. The gin, we can go about two ounces of gin. Uh, if you have a shot glass, that means two shot glasses. Um, it'll be a powerful drink, this one. But, again, with the fresh blueberries, um, it'll be very smooth. If you have at home a gape nectar or anything like that, or honey, you can also throw in just, just a little bit of agave nectar or honey. So I'm gonna shake this. Perfect. Give it a little tap so it secures. I'm just gonna grab another cocktail glass from the freezer. So I got uh, this great cocktail glass. Keep them in the freezer always, it helps it. Uh, it just makes your drink even more delicious. So just strain it into your cocktail glass. You don't need to um, strain it that much because these are all pulpy drinks. Again, fresh fruits. Um, so you can let it slide, a little bit of that pulpiness. Grab just a blueberry, give it a little slice right here in the middle, and then put it on the rim of the glass as a garnish, as you can see. And this, uh, you can call it a blueberry ginger gimlet, and it's one of my favorite drinks. <laughs> Cheers! So that's the blueberry and ginger gumlet. You can make it at home.